Hello and welcome to Uthium Pro. In this video, we will have a look at the settings section, which is the last section of the website builder. The first thing you can do here is change several icons of your website. Just select any image from your uploaded files. There are several advanced settings available. First, you can select a child theme if there's one available on your website. Child themes allow powerful customizations of your theme. To learn more about them, have a look at the Utheme Pro docs. You can select to combine and compress your CSS and JavaScript assets. This will make your live website load faster. The syntax highlighting option affects code listings if you have them on your website. Let's navigate to a page where I have a code listing. And we see that when I change this to the Monokai theme, the colors of the code will change. This theme will work best on dark backgrounds. That's why I switch back to the other option. If you want to display maps on your website, Utheme Pro will use OpenStreetMap by default. However, you can also get a Google Maps API key from the Google Maps developer section. If you enter the API key here, Uthim Pro will automatically switch to display a Google Map instead. You will then also have more customization options available when customizing the map element. If you want to use Google Analytics on a website, just copy and paste the key into this field and your website will automatically include the Google Analytics snippet. Uthim Pro uses a cache to make sure that your website loads faster, for example, by caching images and asset files. You can use the clear cache button to remove all of the cached files. In the custom code section, you can enter custom JavaScript, custom CSS, and custom less code. When I put the focus out of this field, the preview updates and it will execute the custom JavaScript. But let me remove that again. The custom CSS and less that you add here in the second field will be loaded after the theme's default CSS and also after your style. So if you want any custom changes, you can just include them here to override the defaults. And lastly, in the About section, you can view the current version of Utheme Pro that you have installed. And you can also view a change log which will show you the recent addition, changes and fixes that have been included in your version. That's it with the settings section of the website builder. Thanks for watching.